It's a great week to be a Catalyst and Real Wolf. These are your college seminar announcements for week four, September 11th through September 15th, 2023. This week's schedule, we have regular days, Monday through Thursday, and on Friday, our typical Friday early release schedule. On Tuesday, we have picture day, and on Thursday, there is a paid intern interview meeting, and on Friday, we have our senior sunrise tradition. A reminder of our daily bell schedules are on the screen. And again, school picture day for high school is Tuesday, September 12th. Scholars will be photographed for both IDs and the yearbook. Scholars will wear their grade level uniform tops and their best smiles for their photos. All picture ordering will be done online through Stuart Rogers Photo Company. Senior Sunrise is this Friday, September 15th. The class of 2024 is invited to celebrate a new tradition with us. Seniors will gather on the softball field at 6 a.m. to watch the sunrise. Please bring blankets and coffee and dress in your cutest sweats or pajamas for a dress down that day. Breakfast will be provided. Latin A Heritage Month is almost upon us from September 15th through October 15th, and our big assembly is on Tuesday, September 26th. We are looking for all of our talented scholars to share their gifts with us, including singing, dancing, poetry, art, music, anything you've got. Are you interested and want to be involved but not sure how? Please see Ms. Doray in Office 301 to sign up. Likewise, if you're interested in being a part of the Latin dance performance that some scholars and teachers are putting together, please sign up with Ms. Doray in Office 301 by September 13th. The following scholars have made it to the interview round for the paid intern positions. Please attend a meeting this Thursday, September 14th in the chapel during college seminar to learn more about the internship opportunity. Wolfpack athletic announcements for the week are as follows. Football will play an away conference game versus Limbloom this week. Kickoff is at 430 at Stagg Stadium. That location may change, so please be aware. The ticket prices for the games are $8 for adults and $5 for students. Flag football will have two games this weekend on Saturday, a home conference game versus Perspectives at 9, and then an away conference game versus Hancock at 10. Volleyball has three games this week, the first one away versus Acero, then on the 14th they're at home versus Dusable, and on the 15th at home versus Our Lady of Tepeyac. Then soccer has a home game versus Phoenix Military Academy on the 12th and a home game versus Gage Park on September 14th. Good luck and go Wolves. The athletic department is hiring scholars who are 16 years old or older for three paid positions. Please stop by the athletic department after school for an application. Clubs meeting this week on Monday, Queer Student Alliance with Mr. Lorette in room 323 and Workout Wolves will have an interest meeting in the College Center. On Wednesday, a meeting for the National Honor Society board members with Ms. Levin and Ms. Johnson in room 321. And our first Dreamers Club meeting on Wednesday with Ms. Delgado and Ms. Pembroke in room 334. Then on Thursday, we have Model Yum with Ms. Kwok in room 336 and K-Pop Club with Mrs. Sanders in room 330. Again, Workout Wolves will meet on Monday, September 11th. This is an interest meeting for anyone who's interested in joining. Please meet Mr. Campa, Mr. Velasquez, and Mr. Ramirez in the College Center. Any seniors who are interested and get out early can connect directly with Mr. Ramirez in his office, room 312. Dreamers Club has its very first meeting on Wednesday, September 13th at 2.50 in room 334. The mission of the Dreamers Club is to provide a safe space for undocumented scholars and allies and to ensure that all students get the same opportunities. Our goal is to guide, educate, and support undocumented immigrant students and their families on their rights and opportunities by building a strong and safe support system within our school building. All students who believe and support the idea that everyone should have the same opportunities and rights are encouraged to join this club. Please see Ms. Delgado or Ms. Pembroke for more information. National Honor Society will have a board member meeting this Wednesday, September 13th from 2.50 to 3.15 in room 321. Then looking forward to next week on Tuesday, September 19th, there's an interest meeting for all scholars who would like to be members of NHS this year. K-Pop Club, please join us for snacks, fun, and music on Thursdays from 2.50 to 3.30 in room 3.30. Please email Mrs. Sanders if you have any questions or would like to join. Are you interested in learning more about the world, government, or politics? Would you like to improve your writing and public speaking skills? Do you feel like making a difference in the world? And would you like to meet scholars from other schools and cultures? If this sounds good to you, Model U Nations might be the club for you. There is still room to join, so please talk to Fernanda, Ruth, Isabella, or Mrs. Kwok for more information on how to sign up. 
College seminar leaders, there is no meeting this Friday due to Senior Sunrise, but please stop by Ms. Doray's office to pick up the assembly game directions by this Friday, September 15th, and make sure you cross off your seminar's name off the list when you pick up your sheet. Catalyst Craft Club will meet next week, Thursday, September 21st, in room 300 with Ms. Wright and Ms. Epic from 2.45 to 3.15. Thank you to all the scholars who attended last week, last Thursday, particularly from Mrs. Ford's seminar. Lurie's Children's Hospital is offering a mentorship opportunity for teenagers in grades 10 through 12 called the Teen Doc Mentorship Program. This looks like a wonderful um, opportunity for anyone interested in becoming part of the medical field. The application is due on September 18th. If you're interested, you can see Ms. Levin or Ms. Doré for the application link. The HBCU College Fair is coming up on Saturday, September 30th from 10 to 2 at Kenwood Academy. It is free to attend, but pre-registration is recommended. Likewise, the Common Black College application is live. Seniors can pay a one-time $20 fee to apply to up to 65 HBCUs with a single click at commonblackcollegeapp.com. Seniors, please check your email for a survey from Director Moore about a potential out-of-state class trip this year, next semester to be exact. If you are interested, make sure your opinion is heard or the trip will not happen. That is all we have for you this week. Have a wonderful week, Catalyst Maria Wolves.